the comedy game show that's about the internet but doesn't mention porn. Uh, I just said it, didn't I? Oh well. Tonight we'll be having fun with videos like this. So you want to dress up as a cute little mushroom, but you don't know how to do cute little mushroom makeup. I do want to look like a cute little mushroom, but I don't know how to do a cute little mushroom makeup. Oh, I have a feeling we'll find out later. Let's meet tonight's panelists. You know her from Welcome to Flash and can see her as the lead in the new Amazon feature comedy Wine Club. It's actress and comedian Taylor Ortega. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. I love the internet. And I know my personal webpage needs some serious attention. <laughs> Thank you. He's a comedian and podcaster, and you can see him in 101 Places to Party Before You Die. It's Gabris. Hi, I wanted to get dressed up, so I borrowed all these clothes from a surfing bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a stand-up comic and writer you know as the host of the podcast, I Love My Kid But. It's Megan Gailey. <laughs> I'm already horny for whatever Usher's gonna do during this Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. After Midnight starts now. Okay, panelists, tonight you'll all be playing for these not stolen jeans. Yes, the electronic anti-theft device is still on it, but I promise we did not steal them. Come on, 42 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with what's going down in the group chat. <laughs> Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> these are the stories people are talking about on the internet today. People are so sensitive these days. You can't say anything. Not even, I have COVID. <laughs> but it's not just young people who are policing language. Old people are too, because they don't understand it. Like what happened to this guy. On a Teams meeting yesterday, I said, let her cook out loud after one of my colleagues, a lady, made a great point. And now I've been asked to see HR on Monday for sexism allegations? Followed the next day by this post, I just got fired. <laughs> Weird, if I got fired, I would not be laughing, especially not out loud. I would be crying in silence. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling this was like a third strike you're out thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This doesn't feel like the first offense, does no, it? No, definitely not. No, you're so right. So just to be safe, I have a new job and I say words. Panel, what slang should I avoid saying and why? Taylor. Uh, slay! That's murder for hire. You're going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> right. Megan. She has drip? Yeah, her diva cup is overflowing, but you can't talk about that at work. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel. I can never use goat right. I called my ENT the throat goat. <laughs> he was upset. That's what they called me in college. <laughs> If you didn't already think men were scary, they're now starting to get advice from dark psychology videos like this. When you meet a new person, don't immediately be nice to them. They will see you as more influential. If someone looks away first when making eye contact, they find you attractive. If you want someone to tell the truth, make the person laugh first. Okay, I know this is fake because I've made plenty of men laugh and they exclusively lie to me. <laughs> Dark psychology videos are a trend on TikTok that give advice on how to become a master manipulator. Whatever happened to videos of unlikely animals becoming friends? Jeez. <laughs> Pamela, since I know all of you are master manipulators, give me one of your dark psychology tips. Gabriel. Do we have to do this weird computer voice? <laughs> I mean, I'd love it if you did. <laughs> I like to call myself fat around other people, and when they say, no, you're so skinny, I say, you would say that, you cow. <laughs> <laughs> Extra points for the voice. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. great. Yeah. Megan. Uh, one, no one have sex with the man that made this video. <laughs> and two, if someone says something funny, say, that's so funny, instead of laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor? Yeah, if a man cuts in front of you, you just really quietly, you just say, oh, after you, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Remember, 
the good old days, everything was simpler, including raves, or at least that's what I've read in my history textbooks. <laughs> All it took was some glow sticks, a laser pointer, and low-grade ecstasy, and you had yourself a night you'd never forget. According to TikTokers, rave technology has gotten out of control. <laughs> I gotta say, after watching this video, I really think we should put prayer back in schools. <laughs> I guess these people want to be frightened, so <laughs> what's another way to scare people on drugs? Taylor? Yeah, you just go up to someone and you say, Sarah, where did your teeth go? <laughs> oh my God, Sarah, where are all your teeth? <laughs> that made me nervous and I'm sober. Okay. Oh my God. Gabriel? I would say, hey man, you know that pill you just took? It was the Pfizer vaccine. <laughs> oh. You understand amongst my friends, that's really scary. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you points. <laughs> As a wise cat once said, memory all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> Not a lot of musical theater kids, okay. <laughs> this is never more true than when we can't seem to remember our passwords. It's being reported that many people have forgotten the password to their $3,500 Apple Vision Pro. These just came out. How did you forget the password already? What are you, a goldfish? <laughs> So, panelists, since these people clearly need help, tell them how you remember your passwords and be specific. Yeah. Taylor. Right, so my password, it's just lowercase g, uppercase g, lowercase t, uppercase t, then it's three, four, nine, six, ampersand, then there's an at sign, and then exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, so I just remember it. Gabrus? I'm a little older, so I've had the same password for a couple of decades. It's exclamation point five three one eight zero zero eight. If you turn that upside down, it says boobies with an exclamation point. <laughs> we didn't have smartphones in school. <laughs> Megan. I never forget my password because it's tattooed on your mom's ass. Oh. Well I done. love my big, strong son. <laughs> <laughs> you might love your family, but you don't love them all equally. Some of them you kind of hate, but you should keep that <laughs> a secret until they read your will. <laughs> Some of us lack this discretion, like TikToker Sammy Shakiri, who literally ranked his entire family. Mom, go it. Sister, bad. Dad, good. Auntie, bad. Uncle, go it. Brother, good. Granddad, mid. Grandma, go it. Cousin, go it. Nephew, bad. Niece, go it. Yeah. I love how the only one who's mid is granddad. <laughs> Yeah, you might have stormed the beaches of Normandy, but you're gonna have to start playing Fortnite if you want to get up to niece level. <laughs> this seems fun and toxic, so panelists, rank everyone on the stage, including me. Oh. Megan. Wow. I'm gonna see all of your bank accounts before I'm willing to rank you. <laughs> Okay, well, I just kind of feel like we're all over 30. We're all on a game show about the internet. Like, maybe we're all mid, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I, look, I don't want to be a bitch. I'm exactly 30, <laughs> so. I don't want to be a bitch, but being called over 30 is the youngest thing I've been called in a while. <laughs> so God um, bless. Wow. I do want to be a bitch, and I want to see the two Taylors fight. <laughs> <laughs> If you give us little outfits, we will fight. <laughs> um, Gabriel. I think we're all tied for second. Oh. But you know who's in first place? The wonderful behind the scenes crew that make this show happen. <laughs> Except for Haley, I asked for a cold brew, Haley. What was that bull you put in my dressing room? <laughs> Before you even finished, they were giving you points without me even pushing the button. <laughs> Your points were going up, and then they took away 100 at the end. I watched it happen. It was fun. I'm a pander bear. <laughs> Gabrus is in the lead with 700 points. <laughs> Megan 
is in second with 500. And Taylor is currently in third with 400.